Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to 2018. I am here to give you my monthly readings for January, a uh, little energy uh, update on what to expect. I'll be getting into the crystal cards in just a moment, but I was just in meditation before I started and I received a message that I wanted to share with all of you because it's for right now. And I was told that is for all of us. So, uh, before we get into the card reading, let me just share with you what came through. A new year and most definitely new energies. The lost will be found. The aimless wanderers will receive their direction. The blinders are coming off and the view will be forever changed. The sleeping giants have awoken. The warriors are meeting at the table and the missions have all been set in motion. More are joining the army of love and peace, and this is a sight to behold for all of us and all of you. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and I feel that. I, I don't know about you guys, but um, there's been so much stuff happening, and I just feel like so many people are waking up to what's going on. Just the conscious awareness is really starting to expand. The collective consciousness is rising. And I'm just really excited. I think 2018 is going to be a fabulous year. But let's get into what we can expect for January. I'm going to ask the, um, the crystal cards. Um, as you know, we do the three card pull on this reading. So let's find out what the cards are going to say. And I was told in my meditation that I'm going to be surprised by this reading. So let's, uh, let's find out what's uh, coming through. Ooh, <gasps> Labdurite, free will. Okay, liking it already. Uh, okay, let's see, interesting, interesting free will. All right, let's see what the second card is going to come out as. Oh. Okay, they were joking. Green tourmaline, enlightenment. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, well, there's the other one. Three. <gasps> okay, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right. Chrysoprase, fearless movement. Um, wow, lots of green, lots of green energy of the heart chakra. Okay, let me, um, oh yeah, okay, they were joking, I'm surprised, but in a really good way, this is an amazing reading. Okay, let me just sit with the cards for a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm so excited and I, oh, oh gosh, okay, there is so much going on in this reading and it is so on point for what's been happening in the last few weeks. So this is all making a lot of sense. So we're going to talk about um, Labradorite uh, first, free will. Um, okay, lots of colors in here. But Labradorite free will is, it's about understanding that, okay, first of all, it's the stone of truth. So, you know, and, and, and it's the stone, though, of your truth, all, not just universal truth. It's about understanding who you are. And at this time right now, January, the month is starting off that it's no, no, it's no more time for hiding in the shadows. Um, it's about stepping into your authenticity. It's about showing up as who you are today. And not just the image that you want people to perceive, but really deep down who you are. Have there been things about yourself that you've been hiding um, out of fear that uh, uh, and judgment? It's time to let that go and to allow it to come forth. Now, I, I'm going to read you something in here because it's so pertinent to what's going on right now. But the very cool thing about Labdurite is that it is also a contact stone for, it's an intergalactic communication stone. So it is a contact stone for the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, and the Syrians. And so what this stone is letting me know is that right now there is a lot of communication coming from our galactic families. And, um, 
And I mean, let's think about it. What happened on December 16th, the Pentagon uh, released the documents letting us know that they've had a secret program um, trying, like understanding the UFOs and that they are here. We are not alone. And so all of that's really starting to come out into the mainstream now. And this card is letting us know that we are all being communicated with. And I mean, I'm seeing it a lot within uh, this community specifically, but um, a lot of people are starting to get caught contact. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm receiving it either through my meditations in my dream states. And um, I've had visual contact um, showing sphere showing up and um, audio transmission. So uh, this is letting us know that the communication is coming through. Disclosure, I feel like, is going to be a big theme this month for the whole UFO community, as well as ETs. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Now I wanted to read you this. Um, sorry, I'm just like super excited. Like this reading, like my guides weren't kidding. I'm like so excited about this. So um, Labradorite. It is the stone of truth, allowing one to recognize the seeds of disease, disharmony, thoughts and actions in the world. This can activate powerful healing, a potent protection stone. It removes the influence of others from the energy field and infuses imaginative and original thought that rebuilds one's path reflecting their purpose. So again, like the free will, I feel like, um, this is letting us know that January is all about breaking down those old constructs, everything that we've taught to believe. It's time to break it all down and rebuild from truth, rebuild what we know is going on and, um, and bring it to the forefront. So I really feel like that's what's happening right now. So kind of that's like the setting tone of the energy for January. Now, um, the next one was uh, green tourmaline. Um, green tourmaline, very... Um, very green stone. Um, and that's the stone of enlightenment. Now, green tourmaline has the ability, it works with our nervous system. So what it does is it infuses the energy into our nervous system, allowing light to travel through the nervous system, which expands our consciousness. It increases our conscious awareness and bringing light forth, which is why it's called the stone of enlightenment. So because all this stuff is happening, we're all being asked to really tap into who we are and, and really focus through and really take our free will and brain into focus of our authentic self so that with green tourmaline, we can start to move toward more of our enlightened self, you know, our higher self, like really start to merge mind, body, and spirit together as one, uniting it all and um, bringing forth this beautiful, green, loving, unconditional energy uh, that comes forth. Now it's also um, it's also telling us green tourmaline is also telling us very interestingly it's time to start doing some conscious stream writing. So all of you um, start doing some reading. Um, sorry, some writing. Get into meditation. This is letting us know like right now the path of action is go into meditation. Start making that connection or continue deepening that connection. Now interesting enough, I had a viewer ask me. Um, what tips for meditation I would offer to get that deeper connection. So I'm going to be doing a video on that um, next week. So that video is going to be coming out because there are certain things that are going to block you from getting that deeper connection. And one of them that I'm going to tell you about, which is the biggest one I feel no one talks about, and I feel it's so important. So I'm going to let you guys know about that one in the next video, but really work and deepen your connection. It's really time to go into meditation. It's really time to make that connection, whether it's to your higher self, our extraterrestrial friends, our Pleiadians, Syrians, Arcturians, and who else? Um, there's so many different races out there. Um, also, um, yeah, okay, so conscious stream writing. Conscious stream writing, very important. So uh, when you're doing conscious stream writing, all you do is, I would suggest to center yourself, find some balance. Uh, I like to go into meditation first, uh, but if I don't have time to go into meditation, what I do is I do breath work um, just to really bring in that conscious awareness. So those are two things that you can do. So if you're not really into meditation yet, just do some really deep breathing for a few minutes so that you can center your energy, ground it. And then what you do is you take your pen and you put it to the paper and you just start writing. You don't think about anything that you're writing and you just let the pen do what it's doing. You're going to hear things in your mind. Um, thoughts are going to come in and you're going to know that they're not yours. So oftentimes they'll come in because they're speaking to you. So it's not you thinking like, 
I want to do this. They're saying you need to do this. So, um, which they'll never tell you what you need to do because of course it's free will and um, it's always your choice or always suggestions. But anyways, conscious stream writing, definitely one to do. Sorry, I'm really excited right now. So, okay. Um, the last one is uh, Chrysoprase uh, and it's fearless movement. Now I had to, uh, I've never worked with this stone before, so I had to do a little um, sitting with it. And also I'm going to read you some stuff from my um, Atlantean book on it. Um, but basically, so Chrysoprase is, um, it's got more yellows and whites in it. And so it's working, it's got the green, but it's a little bit lighter than jade. And so because of the yellows and the white, um, it's linking crown chakra, solar plexus, and heart, okay? So we're linking all three. So this is all about um, really owning who you are, like feeling it and doing it. And um, bringing in that self-confidence through your solar plexus and that self-confidence self is uniting through the unconditional love of your heart and through the spirit, uh, through your crown chakra. So uh, very important with uh, Chrysoprase. Now, I, there's an affirmation here for all of us to do, which I think is going to be a great affirmation for the month of January. So I'm going to share that with you right now. And it is, I fearlessly take action. I am love, wisdom, and power. Really important. And this stone is apparently telling us it is time to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Like there is no waiting. And because um, whatever's happening, it's happening. So just go with it and do it. So very, very great reading. So, um, you know, just overall, it's, you know, we all have the free will. We all have the choice of um, either not connecting with our true authentic self and remaining in slumber. Um, so, uh, or, you know, waking up and really remembering why we're here, what our missions are, what we're here to do to better this planet, to better the collective consciousness, to assist everyone. We're here in self-service. Uh, that's why we're all here and we have to always remember that and connect with that. And um, so remember your free will and that you always have the choice and it is time to be standing in your truth. Stand in your truth in January, whatever it is, always have that in the back of your mind, or I should say at the forefront of your mind, um, when in anything that you do and how you speak and how you communicate with others in what you're manifesting. Uh, so be aware of your intentions. And then, um, you know, with the enlightenment meditation, it's time to go into meditation this month. This month is all about reconnection with spirit, uh, and, and, and anchoring, like once you really understand that you're connecting with that truth, if you want to anchor that truth in, it's time to connect with above. And of course, our galactic friends are always there to help us. So, um, you know, Palladians, Syrians, Arcturians especially came through in this reading uh, with the, the stone. So, um, with Labdurite. So, uh, we've got some friendly messages coming through. And also, it's about taking the higher evolved concepts that they have and bringing them down into the earth plane so that we can anchor them here and help raise conscious awareness. And then, of course, you know, with Chrysoprase. Uh, it's all about uniting solar plexus, heart, and crown chakra. So uniting body, mind, and spirit together and, and really stepping into your self-confidence and power this month. So very exciting month for us ahead. I'm really, really excited and grateful that this reading came through. So thank you. And um, for all of you, uh, if you haven't yet uh, checked out, the winner is announced for my uh, gratitude giveaway. I am working with one of you for three months now, and I'm really excited. So thanks for all of you who entered the contest. And uh, everyone, happy new year. Make this year a great one. Always remember to live from joy and laughter. Laughter is such a good high vibration uh, feeling. So whenever you can laugh, um, do so. Uh, so thank you so much. I look forward to coming back. I'm going to be back soon with that meditation video for all of you on how to reach that deeper connection because I see now how pertinent it is for this month. And I'm going to try, actually try and get that out as soon as possible for all of you. Okay, so have a great new year. I hope that you're all feeling well and blessed today and I will be with you soon.